Something went terribly wrong during Sam Gilliam's business flight. Can he deduct the costs of the untoward incident as a business expense? The United States Tax Court took flight to arrive at an answer in Gilliam v. Commissioner. Sam Gilliam, a noted artist, art teacher, and lecturer, also had a history of hospitalization for mental and emotional disturbances. He was under psychiatric care at the time of the incident in question. Gilliam, who lived in Washington, D.C., accepted an invitation to fly to Memphis, Tennessee to lecture and teach. The morning of his flight, he felt anxious and contacted his doctor, who prescribed him Dalmain, a medication Gilliam hadn't ever taken before. Gilliam took a dose shortly after boarding the airplane. An hour and a half into the flight, Gilliam began speaking and acting irrationally. He tried to exit the airplane, threatened members of the crew, and hit fellow passenger Seiji Nakamura several times, injuring him. Gilliam was charged with federal offenses, and Nakamura sued him for damages. The district court found Gilliam not guilty by reason of temporary insanity. For tax years 1975 and 1976, Gilliam paid over $16,000 in legal fees on both cases. Gilliam also paid $3,800 to resolve Nakamura's civil suit. On his income tax returns, Gilliam claimed a deduction for the legal fees and the settlement amount paid to Nakamura, asserting they constituted business expenses. The Internal Revenue Service, or IRS, disallowed the deduction, and Gilliam petitioned the United States Tax Court for reconsideration.